presentation about talent management by Veron, Catherine, Joyce, and Jeremy. We are going to discuss about does identification of potential recruits as talent reflect the skills and abilities or is it a type of identity management? This presentation will be focusing on the following. What is talent and talent management? What is global talent management and the challenges? Rights of passage and identity work, talent management process and talent pools, and answering the question given. We will also be linking our own experience throughout. It's important to understand the term talent, however, it is difficult to identify the precise meaning of talent because of the confusion regarding definitions and terms and many assumptions made by authors who write about talent management. It can be supported by Rose 2013. In a similar article, with the definition of dictionary, talent is considered as a special nature or aptitude. Again, this is supported by dictionary definition which suggested that talent is above average ability or more recent definition, a capacity for achievement of success. The definition of talent will naturally differ across sector, industry, and the need of organization and the nature of the work. They propose the two approaches that are important in defining talent. Firstly, there is an object approach which refer the characteristic of people. Within the object approach to talent, they further distinguish between approaches that conceptualize talent as natural abilities, mastering in skills and knowledge, commitment and fit between the individual talent and organization context. Secondly, there is a subject approach which refer talent as people. The subject approach to talent likens to high performers and high potential individual which management make the decision of who is a talented individual. The object approach is demonstrated of all our group members by studying the degree course in Keele University. We believe that talent is a function of experience and effort through deliberations of practice and learning. Other than that, talent is not only developed from studies but also learns other competencies such as teamwork, exposure to society, interpersonal skills, discipline and dealing with stress. In contrast, the subject approach can be supported through the job advertisement in which talent refers to potential applicants. For instance, the word of talent wanted which is commonly used for job advertisement. In the literature review of Tansley 2007, talent consists of those individuals who can make a difference to organization performance either through their immediate contribution or in the long term by demonstrating the highest level of potential. When it comes to talent management, we need to understand what is talent management. According to Lewis and Heckman 2006, calculate that talent management lacks empirical research and they point out that it's difficult to come to an unambiguous definition and conceptualization of talent management. Also, Tensity 278 Talent Management comprises strategy and protocols for the systematic attraction, identification, development, retention and development of individuals with high potential who are of particular value to an organization. Thompson Boosley 2013 also suggests that the purpose of talent management practice within an organization is a strategy that seeks to attract, identify, develop, deploy, and retain talented and high potential employees. For the personal experience of talent management, I will be demonstrated through the previous job working as a barrister. Initially, I was lack of skills, knowledge, and experience as a barrister. I soon fit into the role and develop barrister skills through training process such as study and differentiate between the coffee beans. Therefore, the coffee successfully attract, develop, train skills to bring value to the company. However, they fail to retain my talent or services as I choose to study abroad in Kiyo University for exposure and to enhance the potential talent and abilities through the degree course offered. In this case, talent management suggests that individual potential is based on different organization contexts, such as there is less importance of computer skills in a barrister job. 
2010, Global Talent Management is defined as a separation of international human resource management activities to attract, develop, retain and mobilize individuals with great levels of existing and potential human capital. Constant for the strategic directions of the multinational enterprise to supply the purposes of numerous stakeholders. In today's fast-growing and highly competitive global environment, Organizations around the world are encountering various global talent challenges. Firstly, many people lose their jobs due to the huge economic crisis that creates a talent surplus where many qualified people are chasing too little jobs. The next challenge will be the changing workforce of demographics. Existing trends demonstrate that the size of populations of developed economies is planned to stay relatively stable and sometimes might even shrink. As stated by Strack, Bayer and Falander 2008, the populations of the growing economies and those recently appearing economies are increasing and becoming younger. For example, research along these lines has attempted to examine how organizations attract, select, develop and retain two generations of employees, where older or mature workers and younger workers also referred to as Generation Y, both of which have many high talent individuals. Is known as the other challenge of global talent management. Globalization is a concept that people use when referring to many different phenomena. Of particular relevance to our discussions are growth of world trade, increased competition between organizations, ability to reach more customers all over the world, and the array of people universally who now include a global labor market. Moreover, Mobilizing talent comprised of all the activities associated with moving talented workers through geographic locations. What leads to the failure of global talent management? Based on my personal experience when I was working as an intern in HSBC, I was very lucky to find this internship program that offers the opportunity to work abroad for several months with the exception that I have to first work in a local company before having the opportunity to work abroad in order to gain experience for better performance in the multinational company. In the local HSBC, I'm rated as a high performance and talented student and is the best among all the other interns. As a result, I gained the opportunity to go abroad and work in the HSBC in Korea for several months. Unfortunately, I'm not performing very well in Korea because of the language barrier that is hard to communicate, as English is not their first language. Also because of the culture barrier as I'm not very used to the working culture where they have different additional working hours and ethics to follow. Finally, by comparing myself to the Korean interns who work in the same company, it is believed that the interns of the home country are more likely to be identified as high potential than those foreign talented individuals. Based on the literature review of Tesla 2013, they decided to incorporate with identity work in talent management literature by linking with the anthropologic theories, rites of passage. Before looking into details of rites of passage, it is important to understand what is the identity work. According to West 2009, identity work is an ongoing process in which people engage in order to form, amend, repair, strengthen, or revise their identities in their respective contexts. Rites of passage initiated from Banjim. 1960 studies of social group and the research was conducted to examine how a person moved from a social group to another. For example, from a teenager to adult, rites of passage convey the successful transition through the talent management process run by organization. Therefore, this transition is necessary for talented individual to advance. So far, we have discussed that talent management projects capture talent not only at individual level, but also at the collective level. This can be supported by Michaela, 2010. Within the collective pros in talent management process, talent is given identity labels set by the organization such as rising star, emerging talent, next generation leader. Therefore, talent has the opportunity to transfer an advance if successful transition to the next stage. The first stage is rising talent. 
rising talent are recruits from university who are putting in the first talent pool and undergo an intense period of training, work assignments, and examination. For example, the IBM recruits need to do an intensive training for three months. In first period, they separate from university and accept training. They may be feel tired and stressed, and then they pass the exam, go to the next phase. Thereafter, they will be according to the needs and individual capacity assigned to IBM relevant departments. The next stage is emerging leaders. They gained their accomplishing qualification and move forward to the next career level. For example, in IBM, after the internship, it is time to choose the place. Every employee should do the work plans and individual development plans and will enter another stage of talent advancement. The employees experience the emerging leaders and next generation leader. In this phase, they will feel stressed because they have to study more knowledge and some specialized skills such as leadership and technical knowledge. And thirdly, it is next generation leader. The requirement of next generation leader talent is to be looking for leadership, something beyond with the focus more about having a particular disposition, the cultivation of particular outlooks and values. So in RBM, finally, they have the same values and get their proper skills and abilities. Through learn from their mentors, they can clear their aim and career planning. Then they will be become the talent even as a new leader. We are still wondering that are all people in talent pool are really talented? Why still have talent shortage problem? Why so hard to find a talent? People who are not in that category, are they really not talented? For example, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, would you say they are not talented since they are not a degree holder? In fact, it depends on how you view it. As the level of performance required from individual talent will naturally depend on the needs of organization, and the nature of the work as I mentioned earlier. In addition, talent advancement is based on right of passage with additional three states of right of passage proposed by Journal 1977. The process involves separation, liminality and incorporation by talented at each level and engaging in a high level of identity work. In the first stage of separation, it involves a person's physical detachment from their usual social life by looking at the previous job that I had an intern in Samsung, I experienced the first separation phase by moving away from the study in the university. This decision made is to better ourselves and increase our chance to become a talent through moving away from the social comfort zone that we are used to. The second stage is liminality. In this stage, people have been separated from their previous way of life but before they enter to a new social group. It involves a transitional period in between the first and third stage. Growing from new 2008, this stage holds such characteristics such as temporality, ambiguity, freedom to act and being part of a community. Within this stage, I feel a bit struggling with the new environment I face. At first, the company allocated a task for me to conduct a competitor's analysis whereby to understand the difference between competitor service level and any improvement to me. The task is mainly assessed by senior manager in order to ensure the efficiency and effectiveness. The second task that the company allocated for me is stretch project. The project is all organized by myself from planning to execution. The task is mainly to set up a booth in Dungu Abdul Rahman University College in Malaysia to promote our service with providing free software upgrade to all Samsung users. This project acquired communication skill, plan execution skill, and problem solving skill when encounter any ex unexpected situation. I had experienced and identity work and try hard to blend in the group by understanding their current culture and work ethic such as being a fast learner. Therefore, I naturally changed my identity to merge with the senior that work within the organization. Teamwork and communication are also important in the organization as the role of member are different but interrelated. Incorporation stage after they successfully manage the stress and pressure by moving out from transitory and temporary stage. For example, the new identity of the person may become a young professional, which different from being a student. Through the internship above, each stage tested ability from interview session, 
organization group work and online personality tests such as EQ level, IQ level. Although the whole process is extremely stressful with challenging target, but for me, it is a great learning experience in the real corporate world. To reflect on the content in this presentation, the three questions below has been included throughout the course of this video. Would you describe yourself as talent? No, because we do not own extraordinary characteristics and traits that consider as talent. We believe that our potential talent is not revealing yet. However, we have the ability to be talent in future workplace. Talent are seen to be different to different organizations and it depends on the organization requirement. Is there a difference between talent management and personnel management? Yes. Talent management is a modern approach of managing people and their strengths in an organization, whereas personnel management is the, a traditional approach of managing people in organization. Talent management pay more attention to develop people beyond leadership with particular disposition, outlook and values than personnel management. In addition, talent management decisions are made collectively after considering employees' participation. In contrast, personnel management decisions are made by top management management as per the rules and regulation of the organization. In your experience, has it been more important to be skilled or fit in at work? Based on our experience in HSBC and Samsung as discussed earlier, most employment need to go through particular tasks, therefore we have to be skilled. However, in the working experience as far as that, skills can learn through training in which suggests that talent should be fit in at work. Finally, we conclude that talent has been more important to be skilled than fit in at work. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the presentation.